Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 26th, 27th, 28th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Leos. Hello, my Leos. Happy birthday to you. Let's see what we have going on now. Okay, so this is a weekend reading, so I'm using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. One card wanted to jump out. So let's see what we have for the next. So yes, all the planets, you know, not all the planets, there's a bunch of planets retrograde. Mercury is still retrograde. We're having a new moon at the end of the month. It's the second new moon. A lot of energy going on for July. Whew. It just, it's just been ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. It's, you know, it, it, it's like, Go fast, slow down. Go fast, slow down. Let's see what the weekend's going to be like now. Okay, so the first and third cards are reversed, so that means pay attention. Let's see. Hold on. The Eight of Fire. Okay, fire energy is your energy, and things look like they're moving fast for you. Now, is it too fast for you? Is it too much that it's a little bit overwhelming? Is your temper getting a little bit stressed? Is your temper being stretched? Okay, be aware of that. Be aware of that. That this is, a lot of this is those, um, is just this energy that's just burning. You know, the fire, it's burning. It's burning and you're just, you know, the fire does tend to feed you, but it might get a little bit out of control. Okay? Okay. So events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. So you may find also that you have more work to do, that you have more responsibilities that are put on your shoulders, that you just, and here we have the weekend. And it's like, wow, I wanted the weekend to rest a little bit. And now it's like, this is roller skate time. Okay, next card. The page of water. I love the pages. You know that. They're very youthful. They've got this energy that says, I can do anything. Water is emotions. Water is our cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy emotional but it's also very fluid so while we have and you know water and fire you know they can the water can put out fire but sometimes the fire underwater makes it boil and sometimes it brings it up to that steam okay so be aware that while things are very very um working very fast for you and going fast and it's like you're having more and more to do that, you know, you need to be able to keep yourself, even though these aren't earth signs, you need to keep yourself grounded because it could just, you know, this is like where your blood pressure comes up. This is where, you know, you just, you, you know, you just want to, um, like a teapot, you just want to whistle. Okay, so this is intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase, heightened psychic abilities. So that relationship, again, you know what I mean. It could be your work, it could be personal, or it could be your family. So it could be when it says it enters a new phase. It's like, like I said, I feel more responsibilities, busyness. And you're like, this is the darn weekend. I wanted to relax. But it's like you might have to take home projects with you if you, you know, if you're working, you know, oh, we need this by Monday, and here it is. It's you know almost quitting time on Friday. Ah, okay. Just be aware. But the good news is, is that, you know, maybe it's because this new moon, maybe it's because all the energies, maybe because it's just old, good old Leo season. It's like, you know what to do. My only worry is, again, take some breaths. Take some breaths because, you know, I feel, you know, if you're, if you're not in shape, um, you know, or if your stress is so high, you know, just take some breaths because, like I said, I feel like that teapot and it's, you're about to whistle. Okay, last card, and this is reversed, and here is the Ten of Earth. So here's some good grounding energy for you. This is our Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy, but it's also solid energy and money energy. So here we have this transition. We've got these two cards. They're talking about transitions for you. Um, you know, just be careful how you react to these transitions because it's going to happen fast. And my Ten tells me that something's ending, so something can be beginning. So just just be aware that um, it's going to be a very it's going to be a fast pace weekend for you, okay? And it's going to be about your relationships. If 
It is, remember the three relationships I talk about, but remember too that, you know, if you're focusing on the one, make sure that the other two know that you're focusing and that you're not, not focusing on them, okay? But this is 10 of Earth, and this is a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. And that's really what it's about, too. So you need to make sure that while things are moving fast, you know, you know I'm like, um, like a bicycle or roller skates or whatever it is, that you do take time to appreciate it. At the same time, even though your blood pressure might be raising, you do enjoy the stress of the movement. Okay. So, my Leos, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.